on you. Hawks are even thinking he would have more time to be able to get back. So even after picking up that goal, they give one right up, and that's going to sting. But a ground pick from LJ. Oh, my. Not the cleanest connection, but going to get it down. Oh, oh. oh he did. And oh, rebound saved by Reynolds as well. He's been a defensive mastermind. Daniel, he's a hero. What a special play from Daniel. He half flips into an air dribble into a flip reset. I have never seen anything like that. That peeps play style that they were just in your face all the time. Gone. Oh, oh. Oh. to Jane Apps. History be darned. Jane Apps extends the lead. Cross hockey will have it, but oh, that's well done to get that back to Wavy. And look at oh. And you can see Hawks are again trying to find a teammate on the clear, but they're finding nobody. Double tap from First Killer, triple tap from First Killer. Gen G keep trying their best. Atomic, oh my gosh! Atomic is a highlight machine! Rocket League fans around the world, welcome to day two of North American Open Qualifier number three. We are playing the bracket today through the quarterfinals. We will have a top four by the end of today's broadcast. The Swiss yesterday was crazy. Wonderful stories from top to bottom. We'll cover it all here on the pre-show. We got 28 minutes and counting down till Luminosi takes the pitch against OG here uh, later on today, folks. This is the bracket as well that we have to play through today. We'll be playing through the quarterfinals um, on today. Today, those four matches tomorrow we'll play the semifinals and the grand finals but we're, we're gonna spend the rest of the the entirety of this open qualifier talking about these we, teams because it's incredibly close in North America right now four teams go to Copenhagen and right now there is a four-way tie in that spot uh, Dignitas is not uh, in the playoff bracket they cannot get any more points they need a lot of help M80, uh, OG, Space Station, and TSM is in the bracket, and Omelette's in the bracket. They both need to put in some work to catch up to everyone. Luminosity, they're looking pretty comfortable. No matter what, they're guaranteed at least a tiebreaker, but if they win their match today, they don't have to worry about any of that. They will clinch their major spot. That three-way tie with Dignitas, M80, Space Station game, and then OG, if one of them wins and the other two lose, that team will also clinch as well. Uh, they were felled in the semifinals by this Luminosity squad. Looking for revenge here. Oh. That ricochets off a defender and still kept out by Reynolds. Jane Apps circles around that corner boost and Magic Bear with it, bringing it downfield. Reynolds doing what he did yesterday, trying to play Disruptor and it's enough. Magic Bear ties the game in North America. Cheese and apparently Jack. It's a pretty good company to be a part of. And we all remember Ooh. the performance from Cheese in the second event, but it's Magic Bear stealing the show here. Two unassisted goals, and what a beauty. Both times with Reynolds running interference. Noli runs underneath. Jane Apps decoy for calm. Cheese the save, and Reynolds will sweep it away. Final few seconds. One last shot. That's sent away as well. Noli's available at the mid. Uh, Drop it down to calm, and they don't connect. Oh, it's so close there, but the play's still alive. Naps will get it to come. And he's beaten in the air by Jay Naps, and Ollie is there as well. Not the cleanest connection, but can he get it down? Oh, oh. oh he did! And oh. the rebound saved by Reynolds as well. He's been a defensive mastermind. Magic Bear's there, and Reynolds shot. Or Reynolds trying to run interference, doesn't work out. He can shoot here, and he can score. But Calm is in the way. He's got Noli downfield going after Cheese. Cheese oh. doesn't recover in time. Oh. Doesn't matter, the shot's high. Denied by Noli. Shot on here is saved away by Cheese. Can Luminosity keep possession? No, it's Calm coming the other way. Trying to force it through. Reynolds oh. holds it down, but Noli just bangs it through. And they're still not great, but that little touch gets that away from Jane Apps, and then he redirects it home. Magic Bear was coming on. Jane Apps knew it. He had to act, and he did. Yeah, again, you know that defenders get in there. Look at that touch. Woo. Luminosity haven't been able to do much. OG have had them back in their own zone quite a bit. She's demoed again, Ooh. and Calm will score it on his own. Calm looking for a bump on Magic Bears. Noli takes this shot. Is it enough? No. Magic Bears able to make the save. They're staring down a 3-1 deficit. If they don't equalize here, Reynolds right Jeez. in front. Cheese shot, score. Yes. And Magic Bear had to make one last save. 
And no, that's it. No way. Really. So one last save from Reynolds again. And now we go to OT. Quick off the kickoff. No time to breathe. Reynolds stare. Oh, He's man. got it. Speed off the kickoff. Reynolds scores. Luminosity tie up the series. He just gets there that much faster. Wow. Well, he did get that corner boost, but it doesn't really amount to much out of OG. JNAP shot on. Nolly redirect. Bar down oh. in. Joseph Kidd with the redirect here. You'd love to see it. JNAP sets it up. Noli gets a beautiful touch to push the ball yeah, back to Montreal, down and, and it was that peeps play style that they were just in your face all the time. Gone. Oh, Great drop oh. to Jane Apps. History be darned. Jane Apps extends the lead. What a play. Kyle got sent all the way upfield. Immediately, once he hit that back wall, jumped right off of it, gave a dime to Jane Apps, which leads to a goal. To a goal. More individual presses there from Kyle. Trying to find some disruption. Rettles with a clean beat. He can follow this up and get a flip reset. Got the flip reset. It got the goal. Rettles strikes. Luminosity in front. We really are watching 2018 Rettles just go right to work, aren't we? My gosh. Knocks calm towards the net as well. Nothing. No. Calm is right there in his grill. Jane Apps, center ball. Noli stayed Ooh. home. Did she get there? A lot of trouble. Jane Apps ties the game. They were trying to pull him out. Then once they realized they had an opportunity, you saw Cheese get the flick over Calm. JNAPS just got back in time. Otherwise, we'd be headed Champions Field bound. Chance here for Noli to end it. Bang! OG win of Noli in the overtime. And move on here in the quarterfinals. It's only the first minute of the game. Uh, but, but also, yeah, Space Station looked good and they're lost, but <laughs> Gen G took G2 out finally. And now Chronic starts things off with a goal early in this game. So good. You can see him jump up on the ceiling, giving him more options to on when to, to take back. that shot. So even after picking up that goal, they give one right up and that's going to sting. But a ground pick oh. from LJ. Oh my. That's pretty gross. You love to see the solo plays coming out. First, he brings the ball down low to avoid the 50. And then you the can see Hawks right again trying to find a teammate on the clear, but they're finding nobody. Double tap from first killer. Triple tap from first killer. First killer. First killer's in his name, but he had three taps to put that one through. And I was wondering, were we going to see the Gen G that peaked against G2 yesterday? First killer, it's in his name. Easily saved by SSG. Shot came in pretty slow, but here is that counterattack we've been talking about. SSG got, got to get out of this bind, but Chronic up first. LJ does not have boost to follow up with that touch, and it sets up the opponent. First killer equalizes. Chicago's in the way. He flicks it past him. Hawkser maybe setting up Chicago here in the blue oh, half. Hey. And goes LJ! But lands on the ground. Then Space Station had a great moment. Now, an open shot opportunity for Hawkser decides to slow it down, and it's saved by first killer. That was a must-score situation. Hawkser had such a good look. An infield pass that's cut off. Can Jack get back in time? I'm barely. The Hawksers 50s have been quite good this game. However, they're going to have to play defense here. Big stop. Pitch into the net. Have resulted in consistent goals, at least for Gen G. As SSG deals that pressure well, and LJ's just free like that. And that's the individual excellence from LJ. Gets a high pop into a flip reset, immediately uses it. Chronic gets bumped out of the play. Now Chicago, good patience there. Help setting up oh. LJ. It's on the cross. Themselves for that one. Big kickoff though has resulted in at least this first possession for Space Station, but there's a bump. LJ gets a tip. Chicago has to get a touch. There's the pass. There's the goal. And just like that, Gen G responds. Have been, and now a demo favors Gen G as they get set up. Chronic with a double tap gets it done. Oh, and there was a big boost steal in the corner as well. LJ on respawn actually turned for that boost. And that put him out of position to not be able to help out with that double tap. Feels impossible for SSG. SSG might have to dig themselves out of an even bigger hole. First killer pushing him down in the pit. A little touch there sets himself up. Apparently Jack gets the demo. 
Jack has been ruthless with his aggression. <laughs> You thought it was three times a charm, but Genji continued to be the gatekeepers of top four. They can't really keep this in the zone. Lion Blaze down to Percy. His shot saved away by Daniel falling into his net. They got to help out at midfield, brought back in, and the demo there on Zanil still leaves. Oh. Lion Blaze, he goes in behind Daniel, and Omelette takes game one. It got away from him, though. So now Beast Mode coming right back in. There's the demo, and they still can't break through. Percy with the save right on the goal line. Daniel hard off the corner. Zaniel going to take his time. He's got a lot of it to work with. His Ooh. shot saved initially, and Beast Mode recovers to bring it out. They started to come up, and they almost got burned on the other side. But still, the opportunities have looked very threatening here. But we also saw it, I mean, even with Mo. Wait, hold on, Percy, big shot. Daniel, great save out. Ryan Blaze, big clear, coming right back in, though, from Atomic. Chaos in front, and the initial save from Percy. Oh. Tough angle for Daniel, can't get any pace yep. behind it. G2 still have opportunities, but they're dwindling now as Omelette try to recover. Zaniel off the respawn, forces him to oh go wide, and Daniel pinches it home with Atomic. What a goal for G2. Atomic plays this off the ceiling, goes right on Daniel's car, banks it to the top right corner, 78 miles per hour, a laser. And then they're going to use these panic touches to try to break you down. Percy almost got that one. Beast mode, goal line save. Atomic outlet intercepted. Here comes Omelette again, past the halfway mark. Still scoreless in regulation, and Percy barrels his way through. And wins the 50 against Daniel, and here you go. Omelette starting to push. There's a light touch. There's a chance. Lion Blaze, no, we oh, couldn't boy. get the read behind it. Gets it to Percy. Percy can play it out. They've expended a decent amount of boost here. Here's a transition from G2. Atomic leaves this one for Daniel. Daniel takes the shot. Got it! Daniel scores in overtime. G2 tied the series up. Unreal. Similar to game one, or game two, rather. Able to get the defense a little panicky. Maybe a chance here for Lion Blaze. He's got it off the pass for Percy. Lion Blaze sets the tone. Just leave it for Zaniel. Lion Blaze has to duck into his own net to avoid contact from Daniel. Now Atomic with the demo. He's got Percy dead to rights. Couldn't get him, but oh. Beast Mode will follow it up. Now he's got to get, again, keep it close. Maybe you'll take it all the way. Chance here for Percy. Shot. Saved on the goal line by G2. Daniel with a great touch. And Atomic, an aggressive challenge. He's got Beast Mode waiting for a pass. Line up a double. Oh! Dang! They woke up the Beast. Here we go. Atomic, beautiful sound for the pass. Beast Mode gets the double. And my goodness, is it a great play. Top corner, G2 out in front. But again, it worked okay in the first couple of games. That's, Shot on. Oh, oh, it was open, but the shot's high. Has to control this. Will he try to score? Brought it. Yes, he will. A total oh. win denied by Lion Blaze. Wants to set up a lane. Percy looking for a bump on Daniel. Tommy and Daniel both go up to block that one out from Lion Blaze. G2 holding on by a thread. That's a free rotation for Percy, too. He's going to be back, and now Lion Blaze leaves that for Zanil. And for the first time all season, NA heads to Champions Field. Lion Blaze plays it high. Zanil with a beat on Daniel. Top corner. Oh, beat Beast Mode. Daniel's the one who couldn't get the save against Omelette here in Game 7. Is there a chance G2 go out here in the top eight? A couple of demos. Lion Blaze top left. He's got it. Two goal lead for Omelette. Demo, demo, demo. But that slowed down Atomic. He yep. couldn't get back into the play. Beast Mode had just respawned. And Lion Blaze adds another. That Omelette's playing. I mean, they're they're forcing G2 to get real creative. And it worked out this time. What a setup for Atomic. He got them all scrambling. Don't count G2 out just yet. Look at that from Daniel. What a double. Right to Atomic. Defense has been good from Abba, but they were not expecting that play. And now it's a one goal game. Here go G2, they're finally getting into this. This goes out to the side for Beast Mode to take charge. Daniel almost got oh. all the plays, didn't need to. Beast Mode ties it up. 
That's the beauty of Rocket League 2. You have an intense game like that, and now overtime, all the pressure as Lion Blade scrambles back for the save. He got around another, but Beast Mode there. He was very aggressive, trying to finish the job here, denied by Percy. But here's a free ball. At least Zanil thought it was free. Daniel plays it off the corner. Zanil with a miss. Beast Mode for game. Blocked away. Daniel Fowler got it. G2 will not be stopped as they push themselves forward to the top four. There will be no Sunday vacation for G2 Stride. Own setting up a pass to Creams over to Hockey against Snaz, sealing down to Creams and low TSL Mutford. Trying to slow it down. Darius has some space. Hockey again, an errant touch. This could be a goal. It is. <laughs> Jorius snipes it off the pass from AJ. Jorius is having such an incredible regional. He went from having kind of the highest assist stats last regional to the player with the highest shots per game. Nas pops it from the corner and a great response from Wavy to stifle that. Oh, and there's a block and the shot. This was so good from Creams. Creams gets this first touch past Jorius and then gets the dunk on AJ. AJ. He got red like a book trying to get that out to the corner. A 0-0 game with almost 90 seconds left. He was low scoring in game one as well. And Creams from the left. Oh, sure he is. The space is made for him. The demo. Oh my God, the placement. You thought it was there. You thought Creams couldn't handle the pressure. And they keep this within one of now Creams. You need to slow him down. Oh. He missed the double tap in. I don't even know what happened or somebody cooks in this kitchen. Now look for AJ who pre-jumped that play and it's still defended by TSM. Really solid defense out of TSM when they shut out M80 in the last one and M80, they smell blood in the water and that gets it. So you're doing a good job of keeping this within one. But how does M80 enable someone like Jorius or AJ? Well, defensively, it's not looking so good. 2-0 for TSM. And there's that one's prodigy making a solo play. The double tap. Jorius has. AJ does find him on the counter. Oh. AJ didn't have the first touch, but <laughs> Jorius has the rebound. Broken up. It's chaotic, and it goes back to the orange half where M80 are forced oh. to play defense. And that's a fast shot out of hockey. TSM, I mean, the stats that I brought up about their demos. Ooh. The double commit out of M80 saves that ball back in the court of TSM. Shutout territory if M80 cannot choke these next seven seconds. I spoke too soon. It's tied. Oh, and Creams continues his stellar day. Wavy with the pop out and even flying through, perhaps hypnotizing the defense. Just looking to force an error out of TSM's defense. And that oh. was real close. Jay, just he has to clean that up. I open, oh. I mean, free. He's got oh, space to work with. That's when he's scary. Hockey with the quick shot pitch oh. now by Jorian. Thinking about going for a bump. But now all the pressure on Creams. There's the pass to AJ. AJ will finally break through. And M80 survive. M80 already started off an aggressive kickoff. Here's AJ with almost a full tank going to Jorian. And this works out. And M80's possession broken up. It's a big moment here. Creams off the ceiling, immediately going for goal. Creams pulls the trigger and he launches the rocket right away and it blew up the defense of M80. And Nass is paying attention. This will be a big play here. Jory has a heavy first touch, but he still gets to it first. Has his flip. Now we'll go for another touch. Gets it by and it's going to lead to a goal. Excellent individual prowess from Jorius. M80 step up to the plate and already bounce back to defeat the allegations of the quarterfinal. And yes, hockey will get one for the road, but it's heading to game seven. Oh, we're going to game seven again. We've been waiting for this for a while. We, we finally got it with Omelette and G2 and now we get dessert with TSM versus M80. You it's mentioned the AJ Jorius connection. Will we see it here? Nas moves in and he's beat. That is not going to be on target, but that was an all-in moment. And that will be followed up. Huge save from Jorius. Wavy wins against Jorius. It's up to Nas. His 50 goes to Creams. TSM are building up. And you got away! TSM! Game seven! Creams!
Woods gives M80 a heavy whipping at the end of that one. M80 fall once more in the quarters and TSM with a nail-biting, entertaining victory to close out the day. How hype they are. They, look at all these poses. I, I can't. You know Wavy was looking so chill between the timeout and now. G2 sitting up on top, Gen G as well. They both have confirmed their spots, but between TSM, OG, and Luminosity, the two final spots could be up in the air. It's Gen G. Yeah, was not able until Friday to take down G2. They do so, so successfully in the Swiss and then again take care of Space Station very cleanly to advance to the semifinals. Meanwhile, OG able to take down Luminosity here and co have had a complete rebound since the beginning of the season. A lot of people had OG high in their power rankings and this is the best they've looked all split. And they're hoping to show up against one of the best teams in North America who still want to prove they're not is a good start for Genji. He's shine he's shown us in this region. Oh, calm! Oh, he surprised us, but a great save from Jack comes out. But that is a key miss there. Calm not able to get the 50, and now the low boost challenge. You can see the early jump from JNAPS, but he has nowhere near enough boost. Open net, and first killer will knock it down, and that OG are surviving, but we'll see if they'll be able to actually thrive in this game. Calm can't be slow, JNAPS! The ball comes out! G off to a good start. Now Nully and Chain Apps look to disrupt the structure and the play is turned wow. and Gen G moved too far forward. That was close. No. That was dangerous. And Chain Apps oh. makes the save as it turns. To get there and pass it back from behind the defense. Now another scoring opportunity. Oh, and Chain Apps goes right by. Calm will still be able to clean it up. Calm has been everywhere for OG. Chronic will be slow to the play. Nolly, nice demo as well. But the panic's still there for OG. And it's the save <laughs> off his own post. But in the end, knocking it in. Oh, that has got to be frustrating for OG. Jack being called off and handing it perfectly to Chronic. This calm goes up high. First killer's off the ceiling. Gets an important touch. It goes all the way across. Of course, first killer does it. A first killer from his own back while goes off the ceiling, reads calm like a book. The speed of first killer's challenges continue to play an important role in this series. To Jack, who's been ready for it, to two collide from OG to get this ball away. It's a cross pass from first killer with love, and Jack helps Gen G go up 3-0. Calm out of the way, Nully is demo. Gen G have the man advantage. Jack will go up high, and Chronic steps up, so his first killer, who's in the better spot? Of course, it's the killer himself. Denies that. Play continues for OG. Nolly to come, and Chronic makes the save. But who's the first to this ball? It's Nolly again with that demo from Calm. JNAPS has a shot, and he takes it. The ball. Even if you have to make those risky low boost plays, it is worth it. And Gen or OG rather, gonna capitalize oh yet God. again the counterattack this time. Back to back goals out of OG from fantastic passes. We just spoke about if they could connect on that front. And now they've got that response game that shows the grit and determination from OG. Oh, and that's just what? in calm from a successful challenge from Gen G in that midfield. OG playing more cautiously and Chronic flicks it above, makes them look silly. Oh, for Gen G. Oh, yeah. And it had the read off the crossbar the whole way. Very clean, very easy, very controlled from Chronic. But oh. there's going to be a response. <laughs> quick counter attack goal. So OG stopped the bleeding very quickly. Now trying to slow down this play. Nully, the reset to Calm. It's off the cross. And this falls into the lap of Calm, who is too far to the right, but at least keeps the play alive from the left to JNAP. Too wide to the post. And the clears are just centered out so OG can keep. Coming with the shots. And did find a first killer ready to get that back pass. Oh, that's a big bump though. The shot is saved by Chronic. Excellent effort. It's less than two minutes to go in match point for Gen G and first killer and Chronic versus Calm. And first killer doesn't need nobody else. They can't even cross this midfield. It's been difficult. Gen G looks like to command all the real estate, but these passes are something to worry about. JNEPS with the bouncer that Jack couldn't read. Calm will try for the third time. Three times oh, a charm. Okay, JNEPS with a chance. And Nolly with the tie. 
game. That breaks the heart of Gen G, and now we are positioned for overtime. And there's a fake kickoff. It's a perfect one. Nolly sees J Dabs off the ceiling. J Dabs <laughs> doesn't make contact. It's Jack with just a soft touch, but Nolly gets this on the ground, and we go to overtime. As J Naps looks to patrol this 50, Nolly off the backboard, fakes the double tap. And the shot not there, and this won't be going towards the net. But Jay Naps beats first killer there. Gen G look for any chance they can get. And this is a dangerous back wall touch. Uh oh. And this goes oh, to Jack, open? who's far forward. And Gen G, the Giants of North America, stay on top. The grand finals is their destiny, and they will not be denied. They've taken down Titans to get to this point, but they've got to go up against a G2, and Beast Mode is going to set the tone. End this attack. Yes, they can. Beast Mode up to the ceiling. One more touch to leave it in front. Daniel for Atomic, and Daniel gets the last touch. G2 keeps rolling. It is still G2 on the other side. Hockey lets the midfield boost go. Wavy can take it. It's pinned at the back wall. Wavy comes in. Because he grabbed the midfield boost, he can get into the play, and it's a one-goal game. Wavy now has Atomic coming in. Oh, my God. You talk about absolutely not respecting the opponent. Atomic just took was his up so money early. and stuffed him in a locker. He was up so early, Stacks. He jumped from his own box. Big off goes to Daniel. He gets a free solo off of this one. Plays it high toward the ceiling. Atomic was trying to run interference. Got the redirect. Beast mode. Top corner. G2 in full control off the kickoff. Starting here off hot, and they're trying to keep that momentum moving forward. They look like a well-oiled machine at this point halfway through the game. Will they get their third goal? Daniel says yes as he smacks it back home. I mean, G2 are, are giving no respect whatsoever to TSM, and they continue to stop them. Can't get any offense going. Wavy will try. Got a lead blocker. Got a demo. A time to take it out. That goes no. off the crossbar. Creams has the follow. He's come alive, and TSM are on the board. Hey, well, when you got Daniel and Beast Mode with you, yeah, you're going to rack up A's, but this is crazy. That's hockey, though, in the air, and he's got him back within one. It's good to see TSM giving the counterpunch. Three person pass play. Creams to Wavy, Wavy to hockey. Speed test, and he beat the Beast. May get one as time runs down here, but Beast Mode continues to add to his impressive tally. No goal scored in the first 10 seconds, first 30 seconds. You like to see it, except with Kakreev's laying out with no hockey misdirection, because Wavy, he's got the shot. This goes all the way across. Hockey will have it, but, oh, that's well done to get that back to Wavy. And look at Kreeves! Oh! oh, mercy! Are you kidding me? He took the boost, saw Wavy with the pass, jumped on the ceiling, and got the reset activated. What a play from Creams! That's exactly what you need when your back's against the wall. And they finally take him out, but it's still TSM on the attack. Final minute now of game four. Must win in many ways for TSM. They've held G2 to a single goal. Oh my goodness, I say that in Daniel. Oh, he's got it off the kickoff. TSM, you can't let it slip away. G2 are within one now. Beast mode, up the ladder. Here we go again. He's got help across. It's Daniel again. So Kareem's trying to get the game winner, but it's blocked away from Beast Mode. Chance here for a pass. Wavy going to slam that one straight to Daniel. He picks this all the way up off the back wall, brings it right back to midfield. Daniel, no way! One into the other! Daniel finishes the job! What a play from G2! They take this series in a sweep! Daniel... Coast to coast. G2 versus Gen G for the title of North American Champion. First killer getting a bump and also a touch on Atomic. Now a race to the ball. Chronic has Abdeck on the back wall. The pass back down. There is the team play and the ball movement from Gen G. And that was what's most deadly about Genji when they start connecting on those passes. And what a setup! And to keep those cracks in the armor that Genji established in the Swiss. G2 looked a lot more human, a lot more beatable, but a chance for Beast Mode. No, Daniel steps up, and there's a tie. Seeing what the defense gives him, a team bump, but still Chronic is able to get it out of his half. And apparently Jack going for this corner double. What? He feeds it to first killer. Apparently Jack was the catalyst in game one. With the help 
far committed G2 was too. An important touch came at the end to stop Genji from counterattacking, and they could not unbury themselves from that hole. G2 with the first goal. Remove Genji by force. But G2's presence, they couldn't retaliate in time. And the demo, Daniel dives and saves a heroic play from G2. Just getting surrounded. Now Beast Mode with that challenge. Great that he got a pass there. And Jack, oh. that pillar in the back, he made the initial save. First killer there in time. And now Gen G breathe. Oh, but there's two going for G2. First killer can get a tip. And there's the dunk from Chronic. So despite all that pressure from G2, it melts away on a counterattack. Looked like even a team bump there. Throwing the back line into havoc for G2. G2 really got to fight for possession here. See if they can make the most out of this opportunity. Atomic with a great pass and a bounce bar down, but not in. Now back to Foley can keep up with the play because G2 likes to play fast. And first killer, the cross field pass to get Gen G the lead. But now it's 1v1. Jack and Daniel. Jack pulls the trigger. <laughs> rebound the first killer, and he finishes the job. But his initial effort is good. Gen G keep trying their best. Atomic, oh my gosh! Atomic is a highlight machine! Can't believe it off the ceiling. A few touches crashing down back to Earth to give G2 back the lead. Jack has a second to think with the fake and all the time was almost there. 10 seconds left. First killer, the demo. yeah, demo's beast mode. Chronic with the shot, it's open. But now Jack gets it out. And Daniel flipping the play on its head, dribbling above first killer, Chronic in the net. So was Jack the buff. Daniel, he's a hero. What a special play from Daniel. He half flips into an air dribble into a flip reset. I have never seen anything like that. Daniel is incredible. Back down to a great speed from Chronic. And he tried to beat Daniel. Still might have a goal. That one off the post. And now it's a 1v1. It's actually a 2v1 on the other end. Abjack gets bumped. It's a hopeless situation for Gen G. Get the block. This is great pressure wow. from Gen G. Might be a chance. Flip reset from first killer. Drops it down to apparently Jack. And Gen G win it in OT. Match point for Gen G. But G2 were boost star. Still is. Gen G cycling is so good. And everyone's involved in the success. And Chronic finds the back of the net. Daniel's successful at doing so, but transitioning into an offense, G2 is struggling a bit. Oh. And now with some fakes and the pace change in front of the net. Oh, that was dire. Oh, the first killer landed on his teammate. And oh, it's a pound off the post. I thought it was going to be a goal. At the wrong angle, hoping to get that pass. Chronic tries again. Atomic and Daniel are all mixed up, and Gen G's lead increases. Oh, G2. They are really in trouble now. Looks like they ran into one another in the corner, could never recover. And first on the ball is Daniel and Atomic can't pave the way. Beast mode bulldozes through the net and keeps G2 within one. Gen G has some time to think, but Daniel from the midfield is such a nuisance, and he takes the shot. First killer saves, and you're not even over yet. This is the final countdown here for G2. If they cannot get this goal, it is over. Gen G are your qualifier three champions. They finally take down G2 in the grand finals. Yeah, speaking of so close, you know, I, I, I just want to just yell at Luminosity here for one second. <laughs> All right, just one second. Luminosity, if you would have just beat OG, we would have been having a five-way tiebreaker. We'd be here all day. But, no, OG, congratulations to them with that quarterfinal win. They leapfrog over all those other teams, jam-packed, tied for fifth. They get that three-point gap. OG is there as your four seed. Luminosity clinches with the three, and, of course, as we all predicted at the beginning, it was going to be a top two heavy region. G2 and Gen G, they proved that all split long. Congrats to them with the number one and number two seed. And it Europe's got to do it all next weekend, folks. 4.30 Central European time is the time where their pre-shows begin Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 5 p.m. kickoff. You won't want to miss it. The best, the strongest region in Rocket League right now, figuring out which four champions they are going to be sending to Copenhagen to try and dominate. The Goliaths going up against each other. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching our show folks we'll see you next week